Thursday the 3rd <coughs> of April 2008, before dawn, try Roscoff, Bretagne, La Belle France, that no. I'm fighting into my spirit here too, that's just the way it is. What can I do? I have a spirit, I have feelings, I'm highly sensitive, a beautiful instrument, and as with a beautiful violin or cello or a bass baritone, <laughs> so as with a beautiful cello, it's sensitive, sensitive to the atmosphere in which it finds itself. I don't like the world. It's an awful glassy place. As I've grown older, I've become more spiritual <coughs> and therefore more sensitized to the world about me and the underlying evil in this world. That's the way it is. The polar bears. Yeah, I do the polar bears. They were wolfy. I mean, I'm okay. Am I just seeking eternal life? Is it a selfish thing? Jesus, the bread of life. Second half of John, chapter 6. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. On him God the Father has placed his seal of approval. Then they asked him, What must we do to do the works God requires? Jesus answered, The work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. I'm not here just to love you, my Lord. But that's what those words mean. It's in Romans by Paul as well. Faith justifies itself. Righteousness it comes up in Deuteronomy as well. Going way back. Faith alone justifies itself. To love you is work. Is doing something. To love you. To profess my love of you is work. In itself with nothing else, nothing in the world. That's the point, isn't it? <coughs> so I suppose I shouldn't be too hard on myself, eh? I've done nothing in the world. I will. Sure. They're gonna... <sighs> Early morning. 